good morning everyone welcome back to my channel and today's video we will be looking at how to create a restful api using a api gateway as well as you can integrate this api gateway to the lambda function firstly i will just give you overview of what this uh, entire architecture is so if you wanted to build a serverless architecture you can go for this uh, uh, api gateway as well as to the lambda function so you can just uh, trigger a server whenever uh, user hit your api so you need not uh, worry about a cumbersome uh, service maintaining the overall infrastructure over it so you your service need not be always active so whenever you need to access your server then you can go for your serverless architecture so let's let's go dive deep into our task so firstly what happens is a client will interact with your api uh, gateway which is provided by the uh, amazon web service so from here so this is the trigger point actually the user will be hitting this api gateway and once uh, the user hits the api gateway uh, you will be triggering this lambda function so behind the scenes uh, this lambda function uh, will execute a server task so uh, it will just uh, return back uh, you the response and this api gateway will redirect that uh, response to the client so this is how the serverless architecture works in the aws so all you need to do is you just have to create a api gateway and then write a lambda function now this is my amazon console so firstly you need to create a api gateway as well as you need to create a lambda function You see that it's a run code with the thinking about the servers. Again, the scenes it uses a server, but it is entirely managed by the AWS. So uh, we will be making use of this Node.js. So let's create a function. Now we will be creating this from a scratch. Now we can give a function name as my first lambda function so we can use the runtime as node.js and you can just uh, use the default settings here now it's the change default execution role we can create a new role from the aws policy template now let's give it a our role name as my first lambda role it's asking for a policy template you can you can leave it as, since it's an optional we need not fill it let's create a function it will take a couple of minutes to get created Now let's hit back to the API gateway. Here there are uh, many services like a uh, HTTP API and a WebSocket API and a REST API and a API private. Uh, if you are uh, using a virtual private code, then you can go for this uh, REST API. So only certain people can access this, but uh, we are going for a public. So we are going to develop a REST API and it clearly says that it works with a lambda so that is what we are going to use and if you wanted to establish a dual communication uh, under real-time communication you can go for a web socket as well okay now let's go to this rest api and click on build now we are going to entirely create a new api and you can give your api name like my first api 
and you can give the give it as regional what is the uh, difference between a regional and uh, edge optimized is if uh, the whole world has to access your application then you can go for a uh, edge optimized and if it's regional you can see that uh, these are the regions present uh, in the us uh, there are four regions and in the asia pacific there are multiple things now we will be selecting the default uh, us east one regional and let's create an api you can see that uh, it clearly says that uh, you need to add a trigger to execute this lambda function but before that let's create a api gateway so that api gateway will trigger this lambda function so what happens is the user will just uh, eat your api and this api gateway will trigger this lambda function so we have created this api gateway and we need to add a resource let's create a resource so let's uh, you need not proxy the resource let's keep it as a default thing unchecked and the resource path can be slash and the resource name you can give any resource name like uh, you can give like okay movies you can uncheck this course uh -huh. what is course is it's a cross origin resource sharing suppose uh, assume there are two uh, entirely different domain one is google and another one is amazon so if uh, google want to access uh, certain resources from the amazon then you can enable this course and then specify which domain has to access your resource so you can restrict your resource sharing with the domain only you have specific now i'm not enabling this course because everybody around the world can access my resources so i'm just unchecking this and i will just create a resource now you see that a resource got created and we have to create a methods so since uh, we are using the rest uh, api there are uh, five main methods one is get to get a resource and post uh, which is useful for uh, adding a content and another one will be put to update your content as well as a delete to delete your content and patch which is also same as uh, put but uh, difference between a put and patch is put will update your old object but a patch will uh, partially update your objects only the part of content will be updated for now i will just keep it as any method and since uh, i already told you that uh, this api gateway will be a trigger point and i will be uh, using this api gateway as a trigger point to trigger my lambda function so we have already created a lambda function so i have i will be checking this integration type as lambda function and i will just uh, uncheck this and uh, we have already created a region uh, east one for this api gateway as well as for this lambda function so i will be using this us east one and the lambda function we have already created my first lambda function like you can keep this as default thing and the request body everything can be you need not add it currently so you see how fast it got created okay now the thing is you have done all almost everything but uh, you need to deploy this api to make it work now since there are no staging available what is staging is uh, firstly i will give you overview a developer will develop an application and it will be moved to a dev environment and once uh, it's got uh, approved by the developer it will move to the testing environment and once the tester has uh, fulfilled uh, and given a certificate that it is ready to be deployed to the prod it will be moving to the production environment likewise you can create a various stage uh, currently you can create a test node stage and give your stage name as 
okay now let's keep it as dev stage and this the development description is optional you may not fill it you can just click on deploy it will deploy a deploy your thing right so this will be your invoke url but you haven't written written your lambda function right so let's write a lambda function right refresh this thing so once after the refreshing uh, you can see that the trigger point to this is ap gateway and this is your lambda function and your code is something like this right hello from lambda it will return a hello from lambda so context and callback now let's return this callback callback and null and response and then from here you can deploy i'm just returning this response and it got deployed and now you can come over this function lambda function let's see let's see the configuration okay so triggers okay so this is our ap endpoint now let's try hitting this since i have given movie says any method you see that it's returning hello from lambda now let's make it even more interesting okay now let's come to this function now let's go to code let's head to chat gpt <laughs> give me list of 20 movies data in json format object format you see that it's returning right let it get generated in the meantime let's come over here let's edit this response now this data is going to be array of objects is it generated now let's deploy Now let's try hitting you see how fast this is now it is coming inside the body right so instead of calling it body let's call it as data let's deploy you need not deploy your api gateway again and again right you can just modify your lambda function and it just works fine so 
this is how a proxy integration works there are also non proxy integration we will be checking that later if you really like the video just comment down i will just make another video on it okay